This was the king of rock and roll who loved bright lights and, well, fancy cars. And Priscilla Presley says he was also a guy who liked simple things, including hamburgers from Crystals. Elvis's former wife shared her memories during a one-on-one -on -one interview with Local 24's Caitlin Lockerbie. All that glitters in these cases once filled a warehouse. But this space sure is fit for a king and his fans that flock to Graceland from around the globe to catch a glimpse. They're going to come and really get a full-blown look at Elvis's journey. Which began in Tupelo, Mississippi, with parents who didn't have a whole lot more than love to offer. They were dirt poor. A start that Priscilla Presley says shaped Elvis. When I say humble, it, they were, I mean, if you go to Tupelo and you see the shotgun house, people think it's a two-bedroom house. It's a two-room house. And they had no plumbing and they had no electricity. He was bigger than that tiny box, though, and you certainly couldn't put him in one. Priscilla says his uniqueness had him destined for the stage. He wasn't just a normal guy that came off the street. He, Elvis was born to be who he was. But he was never too big to enjoy the simple things. Crystals, uh, hamburgers. <laughs> I don't know, is Crystal still there? The hamburgers were so small because he didn't like big things yeah. to eat. Outside of the King's Palace, some of their favorite places around Memphis were filled with entertainment. Oh my gosh, Malco Theater. Decades later, coming back to Memphis and Graceland, is still a comfortable fit for her. The home impinged very much on my life, and I still have great memories, and when I go there, even today, it feels like I never left. I'm in a time warp. A place she's proud to share not only with adoring fans, but also with future generations, including her own grandkids. They listen to singing, and they listen to Sirius Radio. They, they know who their grandfather is.